Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and happy new month. Of course, finally October's over, it is now November and um, we are quickly approaching fiestas. Oh god, <laughs> into market there. Yeah, I can well and truly say the year's gone pretty fast. I mean, apparently, according to Sue, this Friday is literally like the start of Fiestas, with next Wednesday being the sort of into Spanish fiestas, then Thursday being today the Brits party with the British fancy dress eh? Mariano say. Eh? Yet again, eh? I'm not sure what's happened there. I have heard it's gone down here a wee bit. Next door was Piccadilly, great karaoke bar. Got the um, Bunny Tom Paris Frank and Pasta. Shame I don't use the Cadillac as much. Silver Dollar Day looking pretty busy today. Uh. I'll say pretty busy today. Cause come fancy dress fiesta, Bunny Tom will be beaming and it will be heaving. And um, only a reason this year it is on a Thursday. Not entirely too sure why, but hey ho. So Ocos has shut for the season by looks of it. Whether they be back open for Christmas, maybe, I'm unsure, but as you can see, shut. Then, of course, Pelicanos there, probably not coming up on camera, but I'll try. No, that's the wrong button. Nope, I cannot get it on camera, but someone has got a big birthday balloon hanging off the balcony up there. Someone's 50th birthday, or fifth birthday, maybe. Anyway, as I was saying, Fancy Dress Fiesta is literally not this Thursday, but next Thursday, and it is going to be huge once again. And well, with it fastly approaching us, that's when places will start to do work, just preparing for it. Which, I mean, could be a bit of a struggle. I mean, there's been the huge floods in Valencia, so maybe some of the distribution centres, the factories, might struggle to get stuff in to Benidorm, but I think people will try. Here's reception to the Pelicano. I think over the next few days, people probably will be working on like the flights, the choreography for the parade, costumes. Most places will be probably decorating for it. <laughs> You're looking forward to it? 
So, so lank, yeah. Yeah, so, so this year. I mean, sadly, Dad's having to wear an old costume this year, cos... Who we there, though? <laughs> yeah, we will be there if it ain't peeing down, but Mike's had to wear an old costume this year, cos, well, with what happened to his main channel, but we haven't really had the money to go buy him something new, but still, we'll have a laugh. <laughs> I've already got some booze in, so hopefully by about 12 o'clock, going off my calculations, I should be bladdered. <laughs> Wine barrel there, best place for cheap booze, cheap drinks. And I will say this as well, um, fancy dress fiesta, nip in here a few days before, get yourself some drinking, cos you're not going to get in any of the bars unless you like, get down there for when they're actually about to open, cos I mean, bars get busy. Like, literally. And I'll well, that's what me and Mike can see my way, so we'll have, like, couple cans, couple bottles, put them in back of the scooter, then help ourselves. Bring you down a bit. Flash is actually... Already preparing for fancy dress eye fiestas, getting the bunting up. I will just say one thing as well from hotels round this area, Flash is probably one of the best places to be for fancy dress day. With the amount of entertainment they have going on here, drummers, live music, just tons of stuff going on pretty much throughout the whole day. Basically, from like early morning up until night time. Of course, as per yearly, there will be a huge DJ booth right in this area by Morgan, so I'm not sure who's DJing this year, whether it is DJ Jesse Brooks who will be doing the full day or what, I don't know, but yeah. My advice, don't try to go down the strip at the main time. It gets heaving, it gets chaotic, and the only time it clears up is when the parade starts, which normally about two o'clock, maybe, well, four o'clock, four o'clock should four. I say, because, I mean, they normally have a few issues, like where to meet, where to actually start from, but when it starts, that's when you just see everyone on the strip sort of move out the road, the parade goes on, finishes, the strip becomes heaving again. If you haven't seen Fancy Dress Fiesta, check out some of my videos on the channel of it to get an idea of what to expect and how truly amazing it is, guys. Anyway, guys, so hit the like, hit subscribe. Of course, we will be trying to do a lot of videos over Fiesta Week. Um, yeah, so stay tuned and see you soon.